welcome back to my channel. So I just received a package from bbcraft.com and I'm going to show you everything that was in it because I am going to use some of these things today to make a gorgeous bracelet for myself. So as you can see, everything comes in nice containers with sections and uh, I was real impressed with that because I didn't have to worry about having somewhere to put all these things had they come in bags and everything seems to be really nice quality also in this container I just liked some of the shapes and this is where I am going to be using the flower shapes there to make my bracelet with today. I'm going to put their homepage link in the description below if you want to check bbcraft.com out because they have an extensive website of just everything you could possibly need for crafting. It's just really amazing and all the prices are very reasonable. Also, I have a coupon code carol5 c-a-r-o-l-5 you'll see that in the description below too if you choose to buy something through bb craft you can get five dollars off when you spend over forty dollars and if you are a youtube channel with a hundred subscribers or more i will put the link down below for you to contact bb craft if you want to do some product review yourself so check them out you'll be glad that you did now on to the project these are the things that i will be using for the bracelet uh the large jump rings there i end up not using i measured my wrist and it's about seven inches i needed and that was a six inch ruler and then of course the clasps will be connected on either side so it should fit perfectly so i use the small jump rings to connect all the flower petals together i did two jump rings on each petal just for a a, a look it, you don't have to though you could just do one and I'm not going to make you watch me do every blessed one. I just want you to see the process and how I did it. And you might say, why are you connecting everything now if you're going to put these beads in and use uh, resin? Well, the reason is because I really wasn't sure if I resined and put all the beads in first that I'd be able to make a small enough hole without wrecking it to be able to put these jump rings through afterwards. So the only tricky thing in doing it that way was that I really have to hold down the sections when I did the UV, as you will see, because it wasn't perfectly flat because of the jump rings in the ends but all in all I think this was the best way for me to do it and it also secured those jump rings in each petal so they're not going to come off anytime soon that's for sure so to all my subscribers old and new I hope you enjoy this video and if you're new to my channel I hope that you will subscribe Please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. All those things matter in YouTube land as far as being able to get more visibility for my channel and grow.
So you'll see that I stuck everything down on tape to basically keep the petals in place. And then I am going to use J Diction UV resin. I also am an affiliate for J Diction. I've got a coupon for 10% off down in the description below. If you use my link, you can get that discount. And it also gives me a small commission at no cost to you. So if you're interested in any J Diction products, go in through that link in the description below and check them out. Thank you. 
As you can see, it's quite a tedious process. I'm not gonna make you watch me do each flower, just this purple one, because uh, it's easier to see than the other iridescent beads that I used in every other one. And I don't know about you, but this was a lot of tiny, tiny work. So I needed a magnifying glass and I have a really nice one with a ring light around the magnifying glass that surrounds it and just lights up at the same time that it's magnifying the section you're looking at because I just really had to get a better close-up look and make sure that everything was looking good. So after I coated and cured the back side of it, I cleaned up little areas off camera and uh, here we go. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back with some more resin and acrylic work. Make sure to check out the links for BB Craft and J Diction below in the description. And until next time, please stay safe, be kind, and have a great day.